Welcome to my channel and thank you for being here. Today I'm going to show you how I styled my shelves using practical items to decorate them. I'm going to start with the top shelf. Now for this shelf, since it's at the top, I want to use something that's a little bit larger and will stand out more. This is why I decided to use artwork. Now my recommendation is that if you collect artwork from your travels or maybe you take photographs of beautiful locations, you can use those to decorate your shelves. I am not the best landscape photographer, so this is definitely not a picture that I've taken. This is actually from Hobby Lobby and I really love it. I think I only paid about $10 for it, so it was a pretty good deal. Now I have a vase here and sometimes I will fill it with flowers. Let's move on to the second shelf. Here I'm adding linen books that I have. Now these linen books have blank pages and I love buying books with blank pages because I love to add our photos to them. This is a practical way to use decor. I love to keep memories from our vacations together. I use double-sided tape and I print them from Walmart. I tape them onto each page and it gives it a clean, beautiful, elegant look. I really love doing this. I think that you can never go wrong with having a candle. And why not add it to your bookshelves? Candles can make your home smell so good, but they can also make your home feel cozy. Now on the same shelf, I decided to add an oversized vase and to use it as a book end. That way I could stack books right next to it. These books are actually about Christian couples who are married. I definitely will be reading them. You can always stack your favorite books on your bookshelf using bookends to style them or oversized vases or other oversized items next to them as bookends. On the next shelf, I will be placing decorative boxes and I will stack them over each other. They are perfect to store photos. A lot of what I store on my shelves are photos, either in photo books that I create or in decorative boxes. I print all the photos that I take on my cell phone every week. It could be photos of the girls making cupcakes or of us taking a family hike or from our vacations. And it's so fun for us to sit together as a family every week to be able to put these photo books together and I also use them to decorate our home. I really enjoy doing this with my family and it's really a great way to make sure that I print all the photos I take on my cell phone. These decorative boxes are so great to keep these family photos because when you have guests come over, what a great way to be able to share some family memories with them, especially if you haven't seen someone in a long time. I also place Bibles here. I found these Bibles on Amazon. I love the book cover. It is a green canvas cover. It really goes with my decor and it's also useful because what if you have friends come over? Maybe you guys are talking about God or sharing a testimony and it turns into a Bible study or maybe you have your morning prayer with your family. What a great way to display your Bibles while still using them to decorate your home. But there's something that's so meaningful to you and important to you. If you guys remember, I found these marble books ends during my come shop with me Marshall's video and they fit perfectly on these shelves. On the next shelf I will stack three black books over one another and place a flat decorative bowl. You guys can probably guess what these books are. They are photo books. I have a ton of photos in these photo books. This is another practical way that I decorate my bookshelves by utilizing something that my family uses all the time like these photo books. I can't tell you guys how many times the girls pull out these photo books to look through them and just lay on the floor remembering different things that we done together as a family. I added a ceramic jar here and when you're traveling, whether it's a road trip in the United States or in Europe or wherever you live, just know that anywhere that you travel, whether it's abroad or locally, you want to think about the texture and the color of whatever you purchase, whatever artifacts or artwork you may purchase to decorate your home to ensure that it goes with the existing decor in your home. Here I have an oversized bowl and what I love about this bowl is that I I store all of my tapered candles here. 
when there isn't enough storage, you have to think about how you can use your decor to be able to organize your home and store different things that you need. Another thing that you want to think about whenever you purchase items during your travels, you always want to think about the size. You want to place taller items next to shorter items on your bookshelves. Here's a quick look at how I styled this side of my bookshelves. As you can see, I added artwork, different colors, different textures, and different sizes so that that way I could create a more balanced look on my bookshelves. I will decorate the other side of my bookshelf and on the top shelf I am placing this oversized vase that I got from HomeSense. It has the perfect texture and I also love the handles on it. I'm going to stack two books here. I'm sure you can imagine what they are. They are photo books. Yes, more photos. I love taking photos of different things that we do as a family. When you stack books together, you always want to make sure that you put something else over those books. When styling them on a bookshelf. That way it really adds a little bit more height to it and it just balances everything out a little bit more. This is how the top shelf turned out. On the next shelf, I am going to place two decorative boxes. Whenever you are working with books or with decorative boxes, you always want to place the larger object at the bottom and the smaller object at the top. And what I mean by larger one at the bottom is the wider one at the bottom and the more narrow one at the top. On the right side, I am placing a tall picture frame. I still need to add our wedding photo to this frame, but I will be doing that very soon. I will now start decorating the next shelf. I will be using these decorative boxes that I got from at home. If you guys remember in my last video, I shared with you guys my haul from at home. I've been wanting something similar from McGee & Co, but they were pretty expensive there. Of course, I am keeping more photos here, more family memories. I can't style my shelves without adding an interior design book. Having this book on my shelf and being able to pull it out whenever I want to look through it and get inspiration is just great to have. I am placing an oversized candle from CB2. Again, as I mentioned before, adding candles to your bookshelves is very important because you can always use these candles to make your home smell good and also decorate your home. Here I am adding a vintage looking vase. It's a bit taller than the bowl that I'm adding right next to it. This will balance everything out on this shelf. I am adding a planter that I found some time ago. It has a great texture. It also has a geometric look to it. To the left of it, I am adding a bowl and it's a bit shorter to balance everything out. I hope you enjoyed watching. Until next time.